Hello and welcome. You're watching the South Special of the Property Show on NETV Prime. We are here to serve a simple purpose, help you narrow down your choices to best buys and value for money homes. We've got Dhruv Khanna of Prop Equity with his data-packed analysis on the show and this is what's coming up. Bengaluru's top three micro markets for homes under one crore. We'll next take you to Hyderabad, promising residential markets along the IT corridors of the city. Also, well-connected suburbs of Chennai covered for budget projects. And then you have well-priced homes in the emerging IT hub of Coimbatore. Also, a good look at what's happening in the Chennai's real estate market. Hit by floods and sluggish real estate, developers in Chennai are doling out freebies to home buyers. But is this strategy really working in reviving demand? And in our Citizen's Voice today, we highlight the efforts of Bengaluru residents who are pitching in to save Kundala Hali Lake from the pollution caused by sewage, inflow and garbage pileup. Alright, we've got all three big cities of Chennai covered right up front. Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Chennai. Siddharth Datta on the phone line with us. Siddharth, hi, go ahead. Hi. Um... Actually, I'm looking to buy a, a 3 BHK unit in North Bangalore as I work in Manipa Tech Park. Mm -hmm. uh, my budget is around 75 lakhs. Um, and in this price range, I have uh, secured offers from uh, two projects, uh, which are Ramki, one North, and okay. uh, Prestige Royal Gardens, uh, both in Yalahanka. Uh, my question is uh, that the first square feet rate offered by Ramki mm -hmm. uh, is much lower compared to Prestige. Uh, what I want to know is if uh, Ramki Group is a trustable brand with in construction of projects uh, and if uh, Ramki One North is a good investment in the price range of uh, 3,800 per square feet. All right, fair enough. You know, Prestige is definitely charging a premium for its brand and, right. and the fact that they bring in a lot of trust. I mean, it's a listed right. company and all yep. of that. Now, Ramki One, though, has been a project that we've also recommended on the show. What do you think? Yes. It's, uh, it's much more reasonable, though. Right. Yeah, well, both are good projects. They've got their good uh, points. I mean, you can choose either uh, of the two projects. They're fairly similar, similar location. Both developers are quite good, well reputed. Um, and even the projects, I mean, uh, uh, both are go ahead from us. In fact, we've also shortlisted one other project that I'll get to in a bit. But uh, let's just first look at the micro market figures here. Uh, the inventory overhang is 26 months in Yelahanka and weighted average price is 4,150 rupees a square foot. This market is growing at 7.1% per annum at the moment. Now looking at the first project that you've shortlisted, Prestige Royal Gardens is developed by Prestige Group. This uh, like Manisha was saying is uh, listed on the national as well as the Bombay Stock Exchanges. This is priced at 4,400 rupees a square foot, slightly over the weighted average price of the market. This, the foundation work in this project is already going on. This project will be delivered in 2009, uh, sorry, 2017. This is a large project, 22 and a half acres. Uh, it's located next to the BMS IT College. And it's got some very good amenities, including a supermarket, squash court, uh, of course, the other uh, other amenities like swimming pool, table tennis, etc. Now, the other project you've shortlisted, Ramki One North Three by Ramki Group. This is also in a same micro market. Of course, a bit cheaper and closer to the weighted average price of the market as well. You can very much go ahead with this project as well. This develop uh, this is developed in three phases. Phase one is already ready, and 50 families are already living in this project. Phase 2 will be delivered by end of this year. This is a comparatively smaller project, 7.5 acres. Project is uh, located on the Yelahanka Dobalapura Road, around 6 kilometers from the Bellary Road. This uh, also has some very good amenities among the basic amenities, including a skating rink. Now, other than these two projects, you can also look at Hoysala Habitat by Hoysala Developers. This is priced even cheaper at 3,750 rupees a square foot. This will also be completed this year itself. It's uh, located right opposite the so uh, Sobha Althea project. Now this also has uh, very good amenities including a basketball court and all the basic amenities as well. Alright, so that's uh, a quick summary 
both Ramki and Prestige. I can understand why you're confused, uh, but then we we haven't really found anything which says that the Ramki project or Ramki as a developer is not trustworthy. There are no consumer complaints really. It's a waste management and infrastructure company. So if you like the project, there's really no harm in going ahead with it. Prestige, of course, will charge a premium for the right reason. They're very dependable. And the end quality of the product may also, one can't say, but should probably could end up being a little bit better as well because they've got a huge reputation to protect. And then we've got one more uh, summary for you and a uh, recommended project, which is Hoysala Habitat, Hoysala Developers. All right, Arif K is on the phone line with us. Arif, hi, welcome to the property show. Go ahead, how can we help you? Yeah, hi, thank you. Uh, I'm uh, currently working in Hyderabad in Gachi Bauli area mm -hmm. and I'm looking uh, to buy property in and around this area only which can later on okay. serve as a good return on my investment. My budget is up to 70 lakh and uh, I'm looking for a 2 to 3 BHK. Uh, so, could you please guess? Okay, I think 3 BHK is going to be tight. Unfortunately, Gachi Boli and High Tech City have now become, you know, Varun, every investor I speak to, especially PE funds who say, where are good deals available in the real estate market? And they say, just go to Hyderabad around right. the high tech city yeah. area. So, so prices have appreciated. Though again, I would say that they are not wacky. They've not sure. gone crazy. So yeah. we can, I'm sure, give him a 2 BHK in this budget. Yes, easily. In, uh, 2 and 2.5 and BHK in one of the projects that we've recommended. 3 BHK, of course, is a, uh, your budget is a bit tight uh, for that. Uh, uh, of course, the micro market, Gachiboli, high tech city, they're the best micro markets to be in. Uh, both are IT hubs, uh, very well located. All the amenities, facilities within those micro markets are already available. Uh, looking at the inventory overhang figures for both the micro markets, uh, Gachiboli is at 14 months, and the weighted average price for Gachiboli is 4,450 rupees a square foot. Uh, the same for high tech city, inventory overhang is 16 months, and the weighted average price is 4,900 rupees a square foot. Now, both are very good, healthy uh, micro markets, and you can go in for any of those two. Gachibole is growing at uh, close to about 6% per annum. High tech, uh, high tech City is close to about 9% per annum. Now, the three projects we uh, recommend you can look at is Somondo by Patel Reality. This is in Gachibole, priced at 4,900 rupees a square foot. This will be delivered in mid-2017, so in about a year from now. Uh, this is developed in four and a half acres. This is located uh, near, obviously, all the commercial developments uh, in Gachiboli as well as High Tech City, including the TCS Synergy Park, DLF Cyber City, etc. And it's got all good amenities as well. The other project you can look at, the second one is My Home Vihanga by My Home Construction. This is in Gachiboli, priced at around 42 to 4300 rupees a square foot. This will be available in the resale market. This project will be completed this year itself. This, of course, is a much larger project, 21 acres consisting of 20 blocks. Uh, it's got all the major lifestyle amenities uh, in this project and lo a lot of open area as well. This is close to, uh, located just off the ISB road, close to many commercial developments again. The third project you can look at is Auroville by Jain. Shrikar Constructions. This is in high tech city, priced at 5,000 rupees a square foot. This will be delivered in third quarter 2016. This project is uh, the smallest of uh, all of the, those three uh, at two acres. This is located uh, in high tech city uh, next to the uh, high tech city MMTS. Uh, the main advantage of this project is it's near to the Madhapur uh, as well as Gachiboli as well. And it's got all the basic amenities in place as well. Right, so let's just bring you what are the projects that you can look at in a budget of 70 lakh rupees in one of the most hot markets in a, in a very cold real estate market. Gachi Boli and Hitech City are still what we consider as markets that you can look at from an investment and a news perspective. So Esmondo, My Home Vihanga and Auroville. All right, Rajiv Kumar uh, on the phone line with us. Rajiv, hi, go ahead. How can we help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a project uh, for investment purpose in South and Bangalore area. Okay. But in, in and around Kudlugate area. So I selected one project from Purvankara, that is Purva West End. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get a feedback like uh, the builder is quoting a rate of around 5,100 per square feet. Mm -hmm. So is that rate okay for me to invest over there? And like any other opinion from your side? 
All right, we always like to give you choices, though there's nothing wrong with Purva West and Purvankra. But let's also, you know, see right. where the rates of uh, this project are vis a vis sure. what's happening in the market. What yeah. are the average rates of this market? Sure, absolutely. Let's uh, directly look at the inventory overhang figures for this particular micro market. Uh, the inventory overhang in Hosur Road is 24 months. And we've also, uh, we are also looking at Kudlu, uh, the inventory overhang there is 21 months. If you look at the weighted average price, uh, Hosu Road is 5,270 rupees a square foot and Kudlu is of course cheaper by almost 1,000 rupees at 4,350 rupees a square foot. Hosu Road is growing at 11% per annum, Kudlu is growing at just over 5% per annum. Now looking at the first project, uh, the one that you've shortlisted, Purva West End. Of course, Purvankra is a very well reputed developer. Uh, the price is 5,650 rupees a square foot and you apparently are getting a good discount on this uh, quoted price. Uh, this project will be completed in 2018. All the blocks in this project are under construction. It's a, uh, the amenities in this project are very interesting. It's a theme-based project. Uh, uh, amenities are in inspired by art, music and cinema. It's got uh, things like uh, uh, an open-air cinema, uh, uh, fantasy fountain, alley of art, etc. So definitely a go-ahead from us. The other two projects you can also look at uh, in the same micro-market. Uh, Salar Puriya Cadenza by Salar Puriya Sattva. This is in Kudlu, just off the Hosur Road, priced at 5,500 rupees a square foot. This project will also be delivered in 2018. Uh, this is uh, close to the Nice Road as well as the uh, Ring Road, the connectivities through the Expressway. And Electronic City from this uh, project is about 9 kilometers. The second project you can look at uh, in addition is ND Passion Elite by ND Developers. This is also in Kudlu. Uh, price is 5,000 rupees a square foot. This will also be delivered next year. This project is located again just off Hasu Road, uh, just about two kilometers from there. And uh, it also has a road from Sarjapur uh, via the Har uh, Harlur Road uh, uh, that has an access to this project. Again, some good amenities like home theater and all the basic amenities as well. So basic amenities and good amenities. So here's a thumbs up to the Purva Western project. And in Kundlu, Bengaluru, in a budget of a crore rupees, there are also two others that you can take a look at, Salar Puriya Cadenza and ND Passion Elite. All right, uh, we've got this email coming in from... Uh, Ashok Kumar and he writes in to say, my wife and I are from Madurai, staying in Chennai for the past one and a half year, one year actually. It seems that we would be staying here for some good years. Considering this, we are looking to buy a two to three BHK home in Perumbakkam and our budget is maximum 45 to 60 lakh rupees. So, you know, South Chennai, good connectivity right. these markets are. So he's obviously done enough research to say, this is where I want to be for the next few years. What do you think? Yeah, it's a good market. He can uh, definitely look at that. The price points and his requirements suit very well to this particular micro market. Of course, Perambakam is also very close to the, uh, it's got excellent connectivity rather from ONMR as well as GST roads. Uh, it's, although it's growing at a very moderate pace, uh, let's look at the mic micro market figures. Weighted average price is 4,000 rupees a square foot. Uh, and this is growing at only 4% per annum. Of course, definitely an end user market. Now the first project you can look at is Pristine Acres 2 uh, by Plaza Group. This is priced at 3850 rupees a square foot. Uh, this will be completed in quarter 3 this year itself. This project is located near Sholingalarur uh, and uh, it's got all the basic amenities in place, very close to schools, hospitals, etc. Uh, et as well. Now the second project you can look at is Glow Dugar by Dugar Housing. Price at 3,700 rupees a square foot. This will be completed end of the year. This is a, a project in 1.2 acres. This is close to uh, the global hospital and also close to some of the IT company. Uh, sorry, IT companies in the in, in the area. Now the third project you can look at is KG Good Fortune by KG Foundation. This is priced at 3,900, 4,000 rupees a square foot. Uh, this is uh, developed in about three acres, again, just behind the global hospital on the Perumbakam village road. OMR road is only about two kilometers from here. Infosys is about five kilometers. So all in all, a very good uh, location as well.
All right. So you know what? Uh, it, uh, like they say that all foreigners would end up calling Dr. Manmohan yep. Singh, Man Mohan Singh, <laughs> and they got away with it. So maybe right. we shouldn't be so particular as well. <laughs> but I think with a surname like Natarajan, I. I should be very mindful of at well, least we make Chennai, a good team then. <laughs> Chennai <laughs> names. Having said that, uh, now when you're buying in Chennai, what's been happening has been a very sluggish market which has taken a further hit after floods last year. So for all buyers, it's a great time to get good deals. Developers have become desperate to sell their unsold inventory and they're offering steep discounts and freebies. Is this sales strategy really working? We don't know. But if you're a buyer in Chennai, then you must negotiate really hard. See this report by Smitha TK. Desperate measures by Chennai builders to clear unsold affordable homes. Massive discounts, up to 20%. So huge savings for the home buyer, that is up to 20 lakh rupees. The slump in the real estate market turned worse after the recent floods in the city. Now, there's a 10% rise in bookings over the last month and a half. However, there's good response only for ready-to-move homes. As of now, uh, you know, if there is a delay happen from the, uh, you know, a, a, a developer, we have very little choice. What we can do is we can only go to the consumer consumer court. That is, uh, other than the consumer court, we don't have any uh, much options. So, think twice. Only invest uh, wisely. Only on the project which is about to complete or you know, which is ready to occupy. It is a big shift in strategy. The earlier attempts by builders to push unsold inventory by offering freebies including modular kitchens, car park, even iPhones didn't increase sales. And hence cash discounts and even more now. Low interest windows, rental guarantee with a 50,000 rupee jackpot. See, the, what the developers learned is the customer wants a discount on the price. He wants it in black and white. There's no question of trying to hide, hide it behind freebies. He wants to know what price he wants. He can get it. And he also has a feeling that he has got more power to negotiate if the builder starts thinking about a discount rather than a freebie. Premium segment is seeing the lowest absorption. Sales down by 36%. Builders hope moderately priced homes alone could be the game changer to revive the market. Arunexalo, CDS, Doshi Housing and Akshaya Homes are a few big names cashing in on the new demand. Today, most of the focus for developers is uh, affordable and moderately priced home because that is where the lion's share of demand comes from. So obviously, anybody would like to target a segment which has more demand base. So today, uh, Chennai is also witnessing this trend. Moderately priced homes and affordable uh, homes are the uh, mantra in the Chennai market today. It's still crisis time for Chennai real estate and so builders are forced to find new ways and this time it seems to be working out for them. Nearly 10 to 15 percent of queries is now translating into bookings. These discounts may soon end if demand picks up. In Chennai, with camera persons Edwin and Sukumar, Smita TK for NDT. That's Chennai. On the other side, best priced homes in prime areas of Coimbatore. And in our project tracker today, take a look at Superb by Urban Tree Developers. This project is in Chennai, launched recently.